Hello, good evening, and welcome to Van Wert High School, where tonight on WOSN we'll bring you a Division IV sectional final between the sixth seeded Miller City Wildcats and the top seeded Crest Unites. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Josiah Stover. We'll bring you all the action tonight here. And these squads met in the first game of the season, Josiah, a 63 43 win for Crest U. A lot's changed since then, but looking forward to a good matchup tonight between a couple of double digit win schools. Yeah, like you said, you know. Opening night, you know, a lot of things have changed. You know, team has changed, structure, coaches trying a lot of different things. You know, but it's an exciting time for this time of the year as these teams have earned the right to be here. So it's time to take a look now at the starting lineups. First for the Miller City Wildcats, 13 to nine, out of the Putnam County League. Ross Coffin, the head coach of the Wildcats, and their starting five looks like this: number one, Brendan Barlog. is a six-foot sophomore forward. He averages just shy of nine points a game. Ethan Barlog, where's number two, a 5'10 junior guard? Averages 6.4 points per game. Number three, Silas Neese, a 6'5 junior forward, 10 points per contest. Thomas Weiss, a 5'10 senior guard, award number 15, just shy of 10 points per contest for the Wildcats. And Andon Rui, the 6'4 junior forward, wears number 32. For the Crest Unites, 19 and 3 on the season, the runner up for the Northwest Conference crown, Doug Etzler. The head coach of the Knights, Gavin Etzler, a 6'3 senior guard, first team all Northwest Conference performer, wears number one, Mitch Temple. Wears number five, the 6'2 senior guard, Carson Hunter. A 6'3 senior guard, wears number 10, Nate Lickley. Three point specialist, a 6'2 senior guard, wears number 25. And Ren Sheets, number 33, just won the opening tip for the Knights. So they're working across the timeline. Mitch Temple throws right to Lickley in that far corner. Hunter at the top of the key. Throws left. Temple thought about the three. Instead will hold. Lob down low to Sheets. Left block off the glass. An easy bucket for the sophomore. Gets the Knights on the least famous recipe scoreboard. I yeah, should see a lot of Ren Sheets tonight. Has got a little bit of a size advantage over this Miller City team. So as we see early that strategy playing out is getting the ball down low and he's able to finish. Silas Neese gives to Brendan Barlogi into the near corner to Ethan Barlogi. Top of the key to Thomas Weiss. Tries to lob down low to Rui. Fouled from behind by Sheets. And that will send him to the carry insurance free throw line. Yeah, good start there by Miller City on that possession. Is able to find their post player and Rui down low and give him a good little shot fake. Got a wrench sheets up in the air and draw early contact. Opportunity here to tie up the ball game. Andon Rui, a 54% free throw shooter, got the first one to go from the Carey Insurance free throw line. Rui, the six foot four junior, averages just under seven points a contest. Can't hit the second one, nearly the offensive rebound for Barlogi, instead of stripped away by Crestview. So 2 1 to score on the least famous recipe scoreboard as Hunter has the high left point. Gives to Exler left side. Lickling off the screen, thought about the three instead, throws right to Temple, and the first foul committed by Miller City goes against Silas Neese. Miller City foul number three, Silas Neese. That's his first team. So Hunter will inbound right in front of the Miller City bench. 7 06 to go. Bounces into Exler at the high right point, throws left to Temple. Knights get it right back to Temple. He'll work to the right side. Holds. Gets back to Exler. As the Wildcat faithful cheer on their defense. That's a very patient here. See if they can get the ball into Grinch Sheets. He's got a really good position, just unable to make a pass there. Yeah, Hunter tried to bounce it off the floor to him. Tough skip pass off the floor. Goes out of play, and it's a turnover committed by the Knights. They'll get the opportunity, however, to set up the defense. Brennan Barlotti gives off to Silas Neese in the backcourt. Guarded by Hunter. Crosses over between the circles to the high left point. A minute and a half gone here. Ethan Barlotti works back out near the midcourt stripe. Throws left to Neese. Takes to the top of the key. Barlotti holds. Silas Neese. Goes off the bounce, rises, fires, can't hit off the back iron. Rui tries to slap it back into play. Got it just after it hit the baseline, and that's a turnover on the Wildcats. So far, there's been a really good battle down low between Rui, between, between Sheets on both ends. Both of them fighting really hard for that position. And there, opportunity for Rui. Looked like he might have been able to grab it. 
goes out of bounds. It certainly looks as if both sides came in to say, hey, we're going to have to play down low. You're going to have to guard him. He's going to have to guard you. It's going to be a back and forth as the Knights work it around the perimeter. Etzler to his left and tries to fire it to Lickley into the near corner. Back to Hunter. Takes to the top of the key behind the drag back dribble. Nearly poked away. Goes out of bounds. Wildcats thought they had it instead of the remain with Crestview. We see a lot of energy from this defense, this Miller City Wildcats. Getting after a little bit. Nothing's coming easy for this Knights team. 5.45 to go. Temple sprints to the right elbow, kicks in the far corner. Hunter tries to go behind the back. Foul committed by Brendan Barlogi. So 5.40 remaining. 2-1 still the score on the Lee Sigmund recipe scoreboard. Knights inbound in that far corner to Sheets. Temple will let one fly from three, swirled around and out, rebound secured by Nice. Wildcats want to run. They told us before the game they had to get some fast breaks. And tried to get one there. Foul committed by Gavin Esser. It's sort of feel the tension from the players here early that have been quite aggressive trying to go after basketball, and that's how each side picked up two fouls here in the first two and a half minutes. Well, both teams continue to try to feel themselves out here, you know, trying to get into you know, their style of play, you know, trying to see what they can take advantage of. And, and really, as you said, 2-1 here. Both teams just kind of slow offensively figuring it out. Silas Neese at the left wing, picks up the dribble, gets rid of it to Barlogi. Nearly had his pocket picked, double team, gives back to Neese on that far wing. Stripped by Hunter, balls all loose on the deck, scooped up by the Wildcats, they'll get rid of it. Back into the far corner, Nice gets the bullet pass from Rui. Great job by the Wildcats to maintain possession with exactly five minutes to go here in this first quarter. Yeah, it looked like Preston might have had a steal there and wanted to get out and run, but we saw Andy Rui dive on that ball and get his team another possession. Ethan Barlogi, short range jumper, no. Offensive rebound by Silas Nees. Foul committed by Mitch Temple. That's the third by Cressu. So the ball stays with the Wildcats with 444 to go here in the first. One of those things Coach Edlin talked about, one of his keys is they got to win the rebounding battle. And so far, Miller City has really done a good job on that offensive glass to try to win those boards. Cressu with the steal. Hunter, baseline drive in the lane. A tough angle. Hits. Hunter averages five. And looks like you get a warning there against Carson Hunter. So the Wildcats come back the other way, trailing 4 1. Silas Nice across the timeline, or excuse me, Thomas Weiss, I beg your pardon, across the timeline. Bounces to Barlogi, tried to get it down low to Brendan Barlogi. And another foul committed by the Knights, I believe. That one goes against Nate Lickley. Knights team foul number four early here for this Preston Knights team. As you know, we see Miller should be coming in. They want to get in the post, and they're posting up their guards, they're posting up Andrew Rui, you know, trying to make it uncomfortable for this Preston defense. Thomas Weiss inbounds. Barlogi in the lane, turnaround jumper, no. And a foul committed by Andrew Rui on the rebound attempt. So quickly, both sides racking up the fouls here in the early going. Another foul, number 32, Andon Rui. His first team third. 4.13 to go. Knights hold the 4-1 advantage. Temple across the timeline. Angles to the near sideline. Backdoor pass to Lickley. Easy bucket. Great design there by the Knights. Throws their lead to five. Great play there by Preston Knights. Looked like they were setting it up. Forced everything to the left, sold that back door, made a great bounce pass and a great finish by Nate Lickley. Wildcats right to the center circle. Hit it to Thomas Weiss. Back to the top of the key to Silas Neese. Double team for just a moment. Weiss near sideline, looking to get it down low. Rui thought he was fouled, hit the deck. Battling with Ren Sheets down there. Silas Neese, left side. Bolts, gets his screen. Gets right back to Barlogi in a tough spot. Kicks out of it. Ethan Barlogi lets the three fly. No. Temple the board on the run. It's a race back to the window. He tries to go coast to coast. Once the end one doesn't get it, doesn't matter. Fouled, and he'll shoot two Gary Insurance free throws. Second foul committed by Silas Neese there. Now four, four fouls apiece here in the front early going. Yeah, we saw that. 
good rebound there by Temple as he was able to corral the ball. Yeah. Didn't really see a whole lot of pressure from this Wildcats team as he got up the floor, took it to the rim, drew some contact, and missed the first free throw. Temple remains scoreless on the day. Free throws tonight brought to you by Carry Insurance and Grover Hill. Carry Insurance, proud to sponsor tonight's game. 315 remaining here in this opening quarter. Six to one. Now make it seven to one. Temple gets the free throw. 6-2 senior guard was an all Northwest Conference honorable mention performer here in 2023. Well, we'll see Crestview continue in that full court pressure. You know, one of the keys also Coach Esther talked about is he wanted to apply some full court pressure and really speed up these young guards um, that Miller City has and force them to see if he can get some early turnovers. Foul committed by Connor Sheets, who checked in the ball game. Under three to go. Fifth foul as he was working against Andon Rui. Will Otto in the ball game for Miller City for the first time. Weiss looks to inbounds, bounces to Rui, gives to Otto the top of the key. Right back to Weiss in the near corner. Sophomore in a tough spot. Otto tries to bounce it to Rui. Ball still loose, thrown into play. And they'll say that Jarrett Harding was on the sideline when he slapped it back into play, so he touched it while he was out of bounds. So a lucky break there for the Miller City Wildcats as they trail 7-1. to Yeah, I love to see that hustle play, diving on the floor. Almost looked like he was saving it with that left hand as the ball was out of bounds, but the official saw his back on the touch line and made the right call. And then another foul goes against Connor Sheets as he defends the post. So that's six fouls committed by the Knights. The next one sends Miller City to the line with 2.37 to go in the first. So the Wildcats inbound on their baseline right. Thomas Weiss, Rui, fakes the handoff, tries to back the defender down. Kisses it off the window, and the first field goal for the Wildcats is up and good via Andon Rui. He's got all three. Yeah, we saw two fouls there on Connor Sheets, and we saw Andon Rui grab the ball and say, hey, I'm going to take it and force you to defend me, and he was able to make a great moving finish. Hunter, floater from the high post, no. Rebound comes down to Ethan Barlotti. Wildcats run up the far sideline as Otto goes to the window, leaves it off for Rui. And he's got five. And the lead just like that with two minutes to go in the first quarter has shrunk to two on the least famous recipe scoreboard. Yeah, and Rui all five points here for this Wildcat team. Only comes in averaging 6.1 points a game. So big night early for him, really keeping this Miller State team in it. And that's, of course, another turnover. Knights looking to get it to Harding. It's poked away by the Wildcats. They want to run. We something near sideline reverses and gives to Ethan Barlocki. And now the Wildcats will slow it down as we approach 90 seconds to play in this opening quarter. Thomas Weiss, left elbow. Rui back to the basket, guarded by Connor Sheets. In the lane, Rui to the window. No, got his own offensive rebound. Putback is up and good, and we're tied at seven. And then Rui has scored the first seven points for the Wildcats as the blue and gold rise to their feet on the far side. That's yeah, really been the Andon Rui show for this offense. For this Wildcats as he grabs the ball, has been patient in the post, but you saw that effort. Gets his own rebound and finishes. Counter Sheets on the block, out to Carson Hunter. Thought about the three, drives right down Main Street. Floater, no, he's called for the offensive foul. Crestview faithful thought he dropped it in, didn't. Instead, he's well, he did. He's called for the offensive foul. Or he's not called for the offensive foul. Connor Sheets is called for the offensive foul. He's the third. So with under a minute to go, Miller City in the bonus the rest of the way for the first half. And that's a costly foul there committed by the Knights as it takes two points off the board here. We're probably going to be at a premium tonight. Yeah, and we really see, you know, the strategy of Miller City coming into this game is they're going to be physical, they're going to play hard, and it's really kind of got Crestview on their heels. You can't reach, got to play with their, you know, their hands off, um, and they've done a really good job. But as you said, a minute left, you know, and they're already in the bonus. Ethan Barlogge picks it up the free throw line. Otto gets the screen on the right wing, turns his back to the basket, finds a path to the basket, blocked from behind by Ren Sheets. Out of play. 
Well, Harding possessed it, so it stays with Miller City, but 22.4. Looked like it was going to be a bucket there for the Wildcats. Instead, blocked from behind by the 6'6 sophomore. Weiss inbounds. Ethan Barlogi between the circles, works left. Gives to Thomas Weiss on the left wing. Otto holds. Gives back to Brendan Barlogi into that far corner. Weiss will let it fly. No. Rebound, it's still loose. And a foul committed by Will Otto, the six-foot sophomore. Gives Cressy the basketball with six seconds to go in the first quarter. Nate Lickley back in the ball game for the Knights in exchange for Jared Harding. Meanwhile, looks like Lane Pastor will come in the ball game. Brennan Barlahi will take a seat. Six seconds remain. Sprint up the far sideline for Mitch Temple. Kicks into the far corner. Etzler will rise and fire. Foul. And with .3 seconds remaining in the first quarter, he'll shoot two carry insurance free throws. Not a foul there by Miller City. Gavin Etzler you know, really taking an off-balance shot there. You know, wasn't able to get his feet set, but kind of bailed him out. An opportunity for Preston to take the lead. First foul committed by Thomas Weiss as Gavin Etzler gets on the scoreboard for the first time. Makes it 8-7 to seven here in the final moments of the opening quarter. Second carry insurance free throw. is up and good. Etzler's got two. And that is the lead after one. Miller City got down 7-1, makes it 9-7 after the first quarter here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Least famous recipe scoreboard says 9-7. Crest you with the advantage over Miller City. And Wildcats got down six there in the opening quarter, Josiah, but they climbed right back into it and tied it up. Yeah, really a physical first quarter to start this sectional final game. As we saw, Crestview kind of really getting into foul trouble early. Connor Sheets, three fouls yeah. there in a matter of two minutes. You know, but force them. Crestview really, they got to play, got to move their feet. Barlogi for three on the feet from Rui. No. Long rebound, though, comes out to Otto. Will Otto gets it. Turnaround jumper from Jude Otto off the mark. Another long rebound secured by the Wildcats. Third chance at it here in the first 30 seconds of the quarter. Otto, eye the rim for just a moment. Instead, gives to Barlaghi between the circles. Ethan Barlaghi will back back out at 7.15. Picks it up, bounces. Jude Otto in the lane. It's coming off the screen is Will Otto. Ball's tipped away. Carson Hunter comes back the other way. Easy layup for Hunter in transition. He's got four. Throws the lead to four. Oh, we didn't see many turnovers there in that first quarter by this Wildcat team. And Crestview early on here in the second. And Donald Fowler was able to force that turnover. Carson Hunter finish on the other end. That's the third foul committed by Silas Nees. So, Nees, the 6'5 junior, just like Connor Sheets, going to probably spend the rest of the first half sitting on the bench. Well, a big loss there for this Miller State team. Silas Neese coming in averaging 9.4 points a game. So, you know, really the offense has only come through and in really here for this Miller State team. So we'll see if that can continue. See if some other guys can step up here. 11-7 to, to score. Ninth with the lead in the basketball. Temple bounces. Ren Sheets creates a little room off the window. Off and in. And the lead once more has grown to six at 13-7. Well, we saw Miller City climb back into it in that first quarter when Renshee sat on the bench and they were able to make that run and Renshee's come back in and Thomas you know, Weiss creates some offense for this night. <laughs> Thomas Weiss, the first Wildcat to get on the board, other than Andon Rui. Lickley, transition free. No, Renshee's the offensive rebound, but he's called for the offensive foul. His second. And now Nasir Easterling will come off the bench, the 6'5 senior. As Ren Sheets has two fouls, Connor Sheets has three fouls. Nasir Easterling going to have to eat up some minutes, and with the foul, that will send Andon Rui to the carry insurance free throw line. So Rui hit one earlier. So 54% free throw shooter. He's got seven of the Wildcats, nine. 
and they'll step it on, looking to trim this lead a little bit. Front end of the one and one. That one rims out on him, rebound by Axler. Nice, what a run. Temple quickly up the floor between the circles. Axler off a screen, instead they'll throw to Lickley on the left side. Easterling, top of the key. Temple has time for three. Missed everything, and a rebound comes down to Otto. Yeah, Crestman comes in shooting 40% from three, but just hasn't been able to connect all night. Temple got the steal in transition. Carson Hunter, another easy layup. Makes it 15-9. Lead back out to six. Weiss, near sideline, right wing. Back to the basket, throws right. Ethan Barlani. Short corner. Free throw line jumper. Barlani hits every bit of the rim and drops. First field goal for the sophomore and a timeout called by Miller City. We'll step aside as well. 5.27 to go here in the second quarter on WOSN. Free throws tonight brought to you by Cary Insurance and Grover Hill. Cary Insurance proud to sponsor tonight's game. 15-11 to score. Here between Crestview and Miller City. Knights with the lead after the Miller City timeout. And probably a good timeout. Here's the Wildcats not going real deep in that bench, Josiah. No, Coach Coffin calling a great call there. You know, give those guys a break, you know, settle them down a little bit, and get a bucket, and you know, see if they can get a stop here on defense and see if they can cut into this Crestview lead. Garcia Hunter on the left wing. Etzler off a screen for three. Off the heel, no. And another offensive foul committed by the Crest Knights. That one goes against Easterling, his first. And that will keep Miller City in the bonus. They'll shoot the front end of the one and one. 5.04 to go here in the second quarter. Still every foul for the Knights. Seems like it results in free throws for Ann and Rui. They'll step back to the line. The 6'4 junior, one for three on the evening. Now one for four, but the offensive rebound ripped down by Brendan Barlotti. In the lane, hangs, swatted right back at him. It's a race to the window, back the other way. Carson Hunter, Euros, hits it off the glass and down. Hunter with eight, six of them in transition. And the lead is 17-11. Preston's trying to get out early to get that offensive rebound or that defensive rebound. They push the ball quickly, finding a lot of success here in that second quarter. Otto, near corner, guarded by Hunter. Throws back out to Ethan Barlani. Rui trying to post up. And Easterling picks up his second foul. So the post players for Crestview having a tough time here adjusting to the officiating here in this first half. Easterling with two, Sheets with two, Connor Sheets with three, Ren Sheets with two. And once more, Andon Ruiz at the carry insurance free throw line. Officials are making sure there's no pushing going on. Yeah. Yeah. Both teams want to be physical down there in the post and Crestview are having a hard time here. Trying to judge, uh, as you said, kind of finding that balance, you know, how the officials are calling the game. So Andon really, after going one for four so far, hits that free throw. Now in the double bonus, shooting two each time out for the remainder of this first half. Rui with eight points. Can't hit. Easterling grabs a rebound and a foul committed by Brendan Barlotti. And a Bronx cheer comes from the Crestview Knights. With that foul, Bessu shooting the front end of the one and one from the carry insurance free throw line. Now, Sear Easterling wanted to check out of the game. Officials told him, no, son, you're, you're the one you're the one <laughs> shooting the free throws. So the 6'5 senior forward will step to the line as Lickley comes out. Mitch Temple back on the floor for Cressio. Miller City makes a change as well. Easterling, one and one from the carry insurance free throw line. Can't hit, rebound, pulled down by Will Otto at Miller City. I'll bounce in the near corner, trying to get it down low to Rui. Easterling just picked up his third foul. So the Crestview Post players in a tough spot. 
Easterling with three, Counter Sheets with three, and Ren Sheets with two. Ren Sheets the starter. He's getting instructions now from Doug Essler, the Crestview head coach. I'm in guessing included, you absolutely 100% <laughs> cannot pick up your third foul. And in Rui hits the carry insurance free throw line as the Knights make a couple more substitutions as Isaac Klein will come off the floor with Easterling and Etzler. Lickley, Hunter, and Temple back on the floor for the Knights. Miss Rui with nine points, averages seven. Left that one short as well. Temple, the rebound. Well, both teams here, as you mentioned, you know, have to be careful here, have to move their feet, can't reach. You know, officials are calling it very tight here in this sectional final. So both teams you know, really got to concentrate you know, just staying in front of that defender. Carson Hunter, a beautiful crossover. The seniors got 10. He averages five, so he's having a great first half as well. 19-13 as we've crossed the midway point of this first of this second quarter, I beg your pardon. Well, we see Crestry coming out here in a 1-3-1, trying to protect those post players, here, especially Ren yeah. Sheets. You know, don't want him to pick up that third foul here in the second quarter. So changing it up a little bit here, seeing if they can force Miller City to make, maybe take a quick shot or take a shot they don't want. Ethan Barlotti left to the center circle. Now we'll put it on the deck. 3.30 to go. The near sideline, Thomas Weiss. Corner, Otto. Nearly picked away. Sheets. Nope, he went out of bounds off the Wildcats. And it goes to Crestview. Well, one of the few possessions here in the last four minutes where there hasn't been a foul to finish <laughs> off the possession. So um, just exactly what Coach Etzler was hoping for. You know, get a turnover now, an opportunity to see if they can extend this lead. 19-13 on the Leeds Famous Recipe scoreboard. Hunter already with 10 here this evening. Crosses over, comes back baseline, off the window, tried for 12, couldn't get it. He's fouled, and Carson Hunter will step to the carry insurance free throw line. Well, Carson Hunter has been really aggressive here in this second quarter. He's got a few easy buckets on a, on a steal, um, on a defensive rebound, and you can see, really, he's been the offensive for this Crestview Knights. Hunter now with 11 after making his first carry insurance free throw. Free throws brought to you by Carry Insurance tonight in Grover Hill. Carry Insurance, proud to sponsor tonight's game. Miller City calls timeout. Cressy faithful aren't happy because Carson Hunter was already holding the basketball. But with 3.12 to go here in the second quarter, we've got a break in the action on WOSA. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Homestyle. Happens here. Carson Hunter hits them both from the carry insurance free throw line. And it is now an eight point lead, the largest of the evening for the Knights at 21 13 after the timeout. Knights still in their 1 3 1 zone. Weiss for three. Bang! Thomas Weiss has five. And it's 21 16. Oh, and a big bucket there for this Wildcats team. really struggling and, not, and just the answer for Minch Temple. Perfect answer from Temple. 24-16, grows the lead right back to eight. Wildcats, left wing, Barlotti. Bounces, nearly stolen away by Lickley, it is. Straddles the mid-court strike, Temple to Sheets, off the window, and a little run here by the Knights, makes it 26-16, and now that's the largest lead of the evening. Well, Coach Kaufman talked about one of his keys games, they can't turn the ball over, and we've seen this a couple times in this second quarter, they turn it over, and Crestview's converted on the other end. Three-pointer on the way, well off the mark there from Lane Pester, and the Knights up the floor, Etzler, in the lane, got it, and the foul. Gavin Ensler, now with four, looks to make it five on the old-fashioned three-point play from the Gary Insurance free throw line after Thomas Weiss's third foul. And we saw a little confusion on the Wildcats' defenses. They didn't know who to pick up on that, and Gavin Ensler was able to, to leak out and catch the ball and tack the rim and finish. Opportunity for an old-fashioned three-point play. Thomas Weiss take a seat on the bench with his third foul. Joining the 
pantheon of folks with three fouls. Tom, uh, Nasir Easterling has three. He'll sub back in the game. As Ensler hits the free throw. Throwing the lead to 13. He's got five. It's 29-16 on the Lane Singles Recipe scoreboard. Under two minutes to go here in this first half. Nearly stolen away by Carson Hunter. Dangerous pass. Rui kicks. Barlotti thought about the triple. Instead, gives back to Otto right wing. Even in the zone defense, Crestview tightly pressuring that basketball as Otto has it at the high right point. Poked high in the air. Easterling grabbed it. Fouled by Barlotti. And that will send the Knights to the line. It's Ethan Barlotti's first, which... He might be the only one out there with just one. <laughs> one foul. Yeah, there's a, or at least starters that have just one foul. Nice has three. Weiss has three. Sheets with two. Sheets with three. Easterling hits the free throw. He's got to play with three fouls here in the first half. Gets on the scoreboard. The first player for either side. First bench point for either side. And the 6'5 senior. Back at the line. Hit them both from the carry insurance free throw line. 90 seconds to go, and it's a 15 point advantage now for the Knights. Wildcats looking for a bucket, need one in the worst way. Otto splits a double team to the top of the key. Bounces right back to Otto. He'll rise and fire for three. Was three quarters of the way down, popped out on him. Etzler, the rebound. Knights want to run. Hunter, right away, back to Temple. Lickley off a screen, wide open for three, and he buries it. Nate Lickley now with five, and it's 34-16 nights on this run. The blue and red faithful rise to their feet. 50 seconds in the quarter. Yeah, big possession here for this Wildcat team. It looks like they're waiting cold for this last shot of the quarter. Still have 40 seconds to go, but really struggle to figure out this 1-3-1 one, one defense of the Knights. Schnipke thought about the three. He'll stand on the line. It's a long two. Missed the rim. Rebound by Temple. 30 seconds. Knights sprint up the floor. Easterling got it up. No. Rebound secured by Will Otto. Now with 20 seconds, Wildcats conceivably will hold. Instead, they'll try to bounce into the near corner. Scooped up by Brennan Barlaghi. Gets rid of it to Otto with 10. On the deck. Will Otto, guarded by Lickley, goes through Lickley, and a blocking foul committed by the senior. His second, 6.2 seconds remain, and that will give the Wildcats two carry insurance free throws. Wildcats will send someone to the bench, can't see a number on, or score at the table, I beg your pardon. That's Will Otto shooting two. Hits the first from the carry insurance free throw line. As Lane Pester, the 6'1 junior, back in the game for the final six seconds here of this first quarter. Makes it 34-17. Otto's second free throw attempt. Off the back iron. Nasir Easterling almost grabbed the rebound. Goes out of play with under four seconds. And they'll say it goes to the Knights. So we'll see what kind of shot they can get off of 3.8 as Hunter will inbound. Gets it to Temple. Up to the far sideline. Etzler, long three, good if it goes. Missed it just wide of the net. And we played two quarters of basketball. Least Famous Recipe scoreboard says Crestview 34, Miller City 17. We'll be back with third quarter action coming up here on WOSN. If you enjoy games like this one and are thankful for the chance to showcase our local high school teams on TV, consider making a donation to TV44 so we can keep airing games just like this one. Donate online right now at WTLW.com or send a gift by phone by calling 419-339-4444. We thank you for your donation. 
Second half about to get underway. Least Famous Recipe scoreboard says 34-17. Crestview outscores Miller City 25-10 in the second quarter, and they'll begin the third quarter with the basketball. Miller City comes out here with a little bit of full court pressure. See what adjustments both coaches make here at halftime. We talked quite a bit on the foul trouble from both yeah. teams. Um, they're in the first half, so we'll see if both teams adjust. Ren Sheets <laughs> spent a big portion of that half, first half, on the bench with two fouls. Gets an easy bucket there to grow the lead to 36 17. Well, we see Crestview on that last possession, just how they started the game, yeah. looking to get Ren Sheets the ball inside. And successfully do that he was able to finish. Barlogi right down Main Street fouled by Ren Sheets his third. So that's something to watch. Connor Sheets with three. Nasir Easterling also with three. The post players for the Knights. So we'll see how much leeway Sheets gets. It's the first carry insurance free throw is up and good for Brennan Barlogi. Not the start that Coach Epsler wanted to see from Ren Sheets picking up that third foul. So we'll see in that one three one if he can be smart and not pick up that fourth. Six foot sophomore buries them both. Knights with the lead in a basketball as Gavin Etzler on the left wing holds, gets to Temple top of the key, right back to Etzler, down low to Sheets, double teamed in the lane, right hand floater hits every bit of the rim. Rebound still loose out of play off of Sheets and goes to Miller City. Uh, the hustle there by Ren Sheets is, almost looked like he was going to corral his first shot. Yeah, I was going to say, in the lane there, he almost had a good grip on it. Instead, lost it when he went to come back up and ends up going out of bounds off of him. Barlogi, free throw line, kicks back out. Silas Neese steps to the three-point line, lets it fly off the heel. Long rebound by Barlogi into the near corner to Weiss. Rui back to the basket, back to Neese for a three. Got it. Big hit there by Silas Neese. Has held scoreless there in that first half. Comes in averaging just under 10 points a game. And um, big shot there, trying to cut into this Crestview lead. Three-pointer, a big one for Silas Neese. Knights look to respond. Lickley off a screen, time to set up, let one fire. Air ball it, goes out of play. Lickley set the school record for three-pointers in a game earlier this season and a win over Hicksville, hit 10 of them. Went 10 for 12 from behind the three-point line and one of them got blocked that he caught right back and let it fly and hit that one instead as the pass is stolen away. Carson Hunter to the window and another easy transition basket. Hunter's got 14 tonight, averages five. Yeah, he's really stepped up for this Knights team. Yeah, really, a lot of his buckets have come in transition and yeah. able to either off a steal or a rebound, able to attack the rim and done a really good job for this Knights team. Barlogi can't hit, Ruiz put back, no. And the Knights race up the floor once more. Etzler right down to the left block, put up a shot, no, foul committed by Barlotti. And Ethan Barlotti has picked up his second foul. Gavin Etzler will shoot two, Perry Insurance free throws. 5.33 to go here in the third quarter on the at least famous recipe scoreboard. Etzler can't hit the first, remains at five points. The lead 38-22. Now 39-22. The first team all NWC performer. Now has six points on the evening. Wildcats. The high right point working against the 1-3-1 zone. Ethan Barlotti to Weiss in the near corner. Left it short on the three. No, long rebound, it comes out to Temple. Hunter, great pass to Etzler, couldn't handle it though. Ball's loose in the lane, Hunter has it. Let's one fly, no, got his own offensive rebound. Nearly got it again, Rui grabs it off the back of Hunter. Yeah, battle there in the, in the paint to get that ball, looked like Hunter had it. Then the Miller City, <laughs> then Hunter, then back to the Miller City. Nisa deep three, his second consecutive triple. He's got six, shrinks the lead to 14 at 
Hunter. Gives to Temple. He'll take a step back. And he responds with one of his own. Mitch Temple with seven on two threes. Yeah, we've seen that a couple times tonight. Miller City gets a little bit of momentum, knocks down a couple shots, and Crestview responds, knocks down some big shots to, to extend that lead again. Wildcats bounce the basketball out of bounds on the sideline. They were trying to get it back to Silas Neese. Instead, Thomas Reese bounced it out of play. He'll step on, sit down on the bench. Will Otto. Comes back in the game, and now Connor Sheets will sub back in after picking up three fouls in the first quarter. Ren Sheets will take a little time on the bench, also playing with three fouls. Connor Sheets throws left to Lickley. Temple off a screen, looking for another triple. Got it. Temple, the 6 2 senior, back to back threes, makes it 45 25. Yeah, his third three of the night for Mitch Temple. It was a great screen there by uh, Connor Sheets and was able to find that space and knock it down. Barlaghi in the lane among the trees, lets one fly the six footer. Got it up and in, and a timeout called by Miller City will step aside as well. 45 27 on the least famous recipe scoreboard here on WOSA. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and home style happens here. Press you out of the timeout. On the length of the floor, Miller City trying to pressure. Turn up the pressure here in the second half. Jared Harding kicks back out. Stolen away by the Wildcats. Silas Neese is a three-on-three. -three into that far corner. Otto for a triple. No. Rebound grabbed by Gavin Ensler. Knights quickly back the other way. Temple at the free throw line. Tied up in a jump ball. Points towards Miller City. Coach Ensler not too happy. Two turnovers there in the last two possessions. Uh, giving Miller City a little bit of hope. Uh, as we saw in that last possession, Miller City got an open three. The shots that they're looking for uh, just weren't able to knock it down. Ethan Barlaghi across the timeline, dribbles between the legs and comes to the near sideline. Silas Neese trying to get that one to go, hit every bit of the rim. Silas Neese with nine on three triples. I don't know if that can hit more heavy metal. And it shrinks the lead to 15 at 45-30. Knights back quickly. Temple, baseline, slaps it to Lickley, wide open for three, and he responds with one of his own. Lickley now with eight. Throws the lead right back. Nice for three. Offensive foul before the shot. Silas Nice now with four. 48-30 with just 2.45 to go here in the third quarter. Thomas Weeks back in the ball game for the Wildcats. A 1 2 2 pressure in the backcourt. Harding goes right to the rack and lays it in. Jared Harding's first basket. Throws yeah, the lead back to 20 at 50 30. And we're starting to see press out of that full court pressure by Miller City, finding those gaps, attacking the rim, driving to the basket, either finding some shooters out wide or attacking and making the buckets. Mitch Temple called for the foul. His second. As Ren Sheets will come back in for Connor Sheets. Thomas Weiss inbounds here in the near corner for the Wildcats. Gets it right back. Otto. Weiss holds. Barlaghi works it around a perimeter. Otto. Weiss off a screen. Let's one fly from straight away. No. Rui trying to get the offensive rebound, but he picks up the foul. On the push off. That's Rui's second. The 6'4 junior. One of the few players on the floor with as many minutes as he has. Only two fouls. How many other players only have two fouls on them? Looks like Carson Hunter's only got one. From my horribly unofficial notes, is Harding right to the rack once more. Swirls it around, and Jared Harding back-to-back -back layups. And the lead is 22 now for the Knights. 
Wildcats look to respond. Weiss between the circles. Right to Otto. Hopes to get to Rui. Instead, drives to the right elbow. Weiss, jumper. Got it. Or I beg your pardon, for Judah, Judah Otto, the jumper. Wildcats try to get a steal in the backcourt. Hunter, free throw line. It leaves it off for Sheets to the glass. Got the hoop and the foul. Ren Sheets with 10. With that full court pressure, allowing this athletic Crestview team to attack the rim at full speed. And we saw there great pass there by Carson Hunter. Took it to the, took it to the middle of the lane, passed it to Sheets, and he was able to finish like a big man. A 6'6 sophomore at the carry insurance free throw line. Got it. And he'll now come out of the game as Monsieur Easterling comes back in for a breather. 90 seconds to go here in this third quarter. Lee's famous recipe scoreboard. It says 55-32. 23-point lead, the biggest of the night for the Knights. Wildcats right wing. In that far corner, Otto. Hands off to Weiss. He'll let it fly. No. Lickley climbs the ladder and gets a rebound. Hetzler across the timeline. The high left point. It's past Weiss. Beg your pardon. One minute to go in the third quarter. Hunter bounces. And Coach Hetzler calling out some directions to his players here. He's got an offensive foul. I believe that goes against Easterling. And if so, that'll be Carson his fourth. Ten, no, it's third. Carson Hunter's third. His, that's Carson Hunter's first. I thought I had marked Carson Hunter down for a foul earlier. So that's just his first foul. So good night for Hunter. 14 <laughs> points. Just picked up his first foul in a whistle-laden contest. Ethan Barlogi, short corner, near side. Backs back out. Throws right. Otto. Eyed that rim for just a moment. Crosses over, working against Harding. Lane Pester in the near corner, bounces. Giudato picks it up, gives to Barlaghi in the lane, reverses, blocked, thrown back into play by the Knights. 15 seconds remain here in the third quarter. Harding straight to the rack. He's got six third quarter points to grow the lead, 51-32. Five seconds remain in the quarter. Weiss spins, free throw line, floater, no, and that'll do it for the third quarter of play. 57-32 on the Lee's Famous Recipe scoreboard after three here on WOSN. Free throws tonight are brought to you by Cary Insurance in Grover Hill. Cary Insurance is proud to sponsor tonight's game. Carry Insurance, getting their money's worth tonight. Lots of free throws from both sides. It's a 57-32 advantage for Crestview as the fourth quarter gets underway. The top-ranked Knights and the six-seeded Miller City Wildcats. Gavin Ensler gives to Carson Hunter between the circles. Lob down low to Ren Sheets. Got in a tough spot, able to muscle up a shot. He's got 13. Well, we've seen this almost every quarter. The first possession goes to Ren Sheets, and they've been successful yep. every single time. Yeah, truth. Foul committed by Andon Rui down low. His third. So 59-32 to score. There's no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for TV44 to broadcast it for you. Say thanks to viewer supported TV44 by sending them a financial gift right now. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable the airing of this game and all other locally produced programs. Donate now by visiting WTLW.com and click the Donate button. Mitch Temple on the right side gives to Etzler. Hunter, top of the key. Temple comes off the screen, trying to get it to Ren Sheets down low. Hunter instead, floater in the lane, drops it home. Carson Hunter, 16 points for the senior. Averages just five, but a really nice sectional final for the 6'3 senior. 
Well, you saw him on that last possession. He knew his man was helping. He got his hands ready, his feet, caught the ball, went, 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 went right up straight away. You know, was able to finish for his Knights. Silas Neese tries to turn the corner on Hunter. And he'll commit the foul. And that's just the fourth foul committed by the Knights here in the second half. Second by Hunter. 61-32 the score. 29 point lead for the Knights. They won by 20 the first time they played in the season opener, 63-43. Rui muscles up a shot. No, offensive rebound and put back by Silas Neese. His first two. He's got 11 after being held scoreless there in the first half. Foul committed by Brendan Barlaghi there on the drive by Hunter. And that is the sixth foul. Third foul by Barlaghi. Next one sends Chris Hugh to the bonus. The inbound to Ren Sheets. Lickley, right side, 6.20 to go. Etzler for three, bam! Kevin yeah, Etzler, now a nine. And it's 64 to 34. Uh, you see the veteran team here, that discretion team coming out here. Anytime they get an opportunity to run a good set, set some really good screens. I saw Gavin Etzler there come out wide open, knocks down the big shot for this Knights team. Barlaghi to the window, got it up and in. He's got eight points. Temple, right back down the other way. Euros in the lane, left hand from the left side. That's a tough <laughs> shot for the senior guard. He's got 12. Throws the lead right back out to 30 at 66 36. Well, and Coach Esco talked about the importance of handling the different type of pressure that this Miller City does full court. And we've seen it tonight, they've handled it. With 5.28 to go here in the fourth quarter, we'll step aside, come back with more fourth quarter action here on WOSN. Out of the timeout, 66-36, Crestview with the advantage over Miller City. 5.28 to go here in this fourth quarter. Knights with the lead. Get it to Ren Sheets, it's tipped by Weiss, and it's three on two back the other way for the Wildcats. Bounce pass, Otto to the window, up and in. And Will Otto has three points. Jude Otto, I beg your pardon, Jude Otto has four for the sophomore. So we approach five minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Lickley off a screen, three, three, no. Offensive rebound by Etzler, takes it into the far corner. He'll hold, give back to Lickley. Hunter with his heels on the center circle. Tries to hand off the Temple, does. Crestview in no hurry here to run a good set. Coach Hessler trying to get everybody in the right position as we see another turnover by this Knights team. Poked away from behind by Jude Otto. They were looking for Ren Sheets. Otto got his fingertips in there. He'll get it back the other way. Spins. And a nice post play there by Jude Otto. He's got six points. It's 66-40. Yeah, strong kick there by Jude Otto. Double move and was able to finish. Temple got past the defender. 14 for the senior. 68-40. Stolen away by Lickley. Back the other way. Temple right back to the window. Lost the handle underneath the bucket. Sheets traveled with it. 4.03 to go. More fourth quarter action coming up here on WOSF. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. Press you the 68-40 lead over the Miller City Wildcats as Silas Neese lost the handle. The Knights, for the most part, sent it in. Some substitutions. Gavin Etzler in the game. And a quick timeout called by Doug Ensler to get some more substitutions in the ball game. We'll keep it here with 3.35 to go. Looks like Kellen Putman is going to come in the game. This year, Easterling on the floor as well. And Crestview just, it was 9-7 after one quarter, Josiah. And 
It was 34-17. They outscored the Wildcats 25-10 there in the second quarter, and it's been pretty much all night since about the midway point of that second quarter. Yeah, we've seen Miller City try some different things to slow down this Knights team, but unfortunately it hasn't worked for them. A little bit of full court pressure, but you know this athletic Preston Knights team has been able to attack the rim, get easy buckets, especially as you said, after that first quarter, you know, really figuring out, really began to attack that rim. It's been successful for them. Jared Harding, Wesson Ludwig, Isaac Klein, Kellen Putman on the floor for the Knights. Drew Nielsen in the game as well. Harding gives to Ludwig. Throws left. Try to get it down low to Easterling with his back to the basket. Lobs back out to Klein. And Drew Nielsen crosses over at the free throw line. He'll rise and fire. Can't drop it in. And the rebound comes down to Giudato. Approaching the three minute mark in tonight's ball game in the sectional final. Otto, and Jude Otto swirls one around, popped out on him. 68-40 on the least famous recipe scoreboard. Ludwig on the left side, and a offensive foul goes against the Crest Unites. Doesn't result in a carry insurance free throw, however. Foul committed by Klein, his first. Jared Harding and Klein will come out of the ball game. As Tommy Hefner enters the ball game, six foot sophomore, and Connor Sheets, the six four junior, also in the game now for Crestview. Well, Crestview gets an opportunity to get some of these younger guys in the ball game, get them some playoff experience. Will Otto back to the basket, gives to Grant Palti in the game for the first time. Palti throws right to Connor Hermiller, also playing his first minutes here for the Wildcats. Otto, right elbow jumper. No, Nasir Easterling grabs the rebound. 2.15 to go. Nielsen up the floor. Yeah, good board there by Nasir Easterling. It's kind of flew in from yeah, nowhere. I was going to say, <laughs> to, to get that rebound. Anticipated. Connor Sheets, Easterling, top of the key. Into that far corner, they'll bounce it to Wesson Ludwig with his back to the basket. Easterling in the lane, spins, hangs, no. Rebound to Hermiller. Connor Hermiller races past the night defense, drops it off. No, Otto the rebound, put back off the mark. And the Knights will pull it out. And a timeout called to get some substitutions in. 1.40 to go. More fourth quarter action coming up on WOSN. Free throws tonight brought to you by Carey Insurance in Grover Hill. Carey Insurance is proud to sponsor tonight's game. 90 seconds remain in the sectional final. The Crest United's going to move on to play the winner of Delta St. John's and Pandora Gilboa on the nightcap here in the sectional final Friday. Drew Nielsen a deep three. No. A fan favorite for the Knights. Had a couple of nice looks at it. Connor Hermiller in the lane. Otto. Right hand floater, can't get it over the top of the rim, and a rebound. Secured by a knight. Nielsen for three, left it short. 60 seconds remain as Eric Grant Palti got the long rebound. Per Miller. Timeout called by Miller City as they want to get some guys on the floor as well. Aaron Schnipke and Zach Gurton will enter the game. The Ottos. Jude and Will Otto take a seat on the bench. Get a final applause for the season from the Wildcat faithful. Miller City will inbound underneath their own basket. As Aaron Stimke inbounds to Curtin. Palti for three. Off the heel. No. Nielsen a rebound for Crestview. The Knight faithful want to see him fire up another shot. Under 60 seconds remaining. Tommy Hefner holds. Wide open down low, Wesson Ludwig in the lane. Got it up and in. Wesson Ludwig, the 6'2 senior, scores two, makes it 70-40. And we'll stop play here momentarily.
Uh, get one more there player. By, that, by the young knights. <laughs> well, and, to run some run some time off the clock. Well, unless and what Wesson Love got the chance to kind of get rid of it too <laughs> instead. Uh, turned and when he pump faked on the bats, everybody went with him and he said, I, I can't not, yeah. I can't not shoot it. We like to see these guys get an opportunity here, especially on the varsity stage and get some minutes and hopefully score some points. Yeah, they practice just as hard as everybody else. So under 10 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Tommy Hefner in the backcourt. And that will do it. Crestview victorious tonight, 70-40 over the Miller City Wildcats. The Knights win the sectional title, move to 20-3 and three on the season. And like we said, they'll move on to play Delta St. John's or Pandora Goboa next week at the Elida Fieldhouse in the Division IV District. Final thoughts and takeaways tonight, Josiah? Yeah, well, as you said a little bit earlier, you know, really it started in that second quarter as this Crestman team started to take control of this game. We're able to use that, that pressure from the City to get some easy buckets. That just led to some easy shots on the outside. And just started to steamroll. So congratulations to this night team as they advance um, in this tournament. And a great season by the Miller City Wildcats. They fall tonight and end the season at 13 and 10. They had a great start, but couldn't hang on. And the Crest Unites will cut down the nets here at Van Wert. They are victorious, 70 to 40. Led tonight in scoring a couple of guys, actually. Uh, Carson Hunter and Mitch Temple both with 14. Ren Sheets 13 in the victory. Miller City led by Silas Neese with 11 in the loss. So 70-40, the final score on the least famous recipe scoreboard. That'll do it from us here in Van Wert for our entire WOSN crew, Mia, Kelsey, and Josiah. I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long, and we'll catch you next time right here on WOSN.